What's going on Repair Gang? In today's video, I got a water pump here. This is on a DeWalt pressure washer. And um, we're gonna figure out if we can fix it or if it's broken because something in there is rattling. And now, pretty much to get it all down, we're just gonna use a um, Allen key 13 six, or 3 16 and the problem is though, I just wanna let you guys know, the problem with all these pressure washer pumps is right here, all these bolts normally all have Loctite on them. So they're gonna be a pain in the ass to break free and make sure you just add it when you guys put it back together. But we're gonna figure out if we can fix it. So far so good. I'm just gonna loosen them all with the hand the hand torquer and then I'll bust out the pretty much electric screwdriver the impact to get them all the way out but I just need to break that Loctite up and taking apart these water pumps is not a big task but they're a pain and they got a lot of little parts in them and I'm just removing this part really just to make sure everything's okay and all the seals are good in it but the main part that I believe is broken is in this part, which we'll get to gradually over the course of this video. But I figured I'd show you guys how to bust into a water pump if you guys ever got to fix one. <clears throat> They're not too bad. They're not too bad. Make sure I just broke everyone loose. There's eight bolts holding it right here. So eight of those Allen key bolts. And once I pull one out, I'll show you guys the Loctite. Let me get the impact ready. Um, I believe this thing is empty on oil. I drained it the other day. And um, yeah, we're gonna bust out the impact and we're just gonna figure out what's wrong with this. I just need to take a few pictures before I bust it open. Okay, let's finish taking off this part. Oh, it looks like this one didn't really have the Loctite on or someone else was been in it. Which is a possibility. I did buy this pressure washer used and the Honda engine does work pretty good. So worst comes to worst, I could just sell the engine by itself. And someone could use it for something else. Or I could use it for something else. It's a Honda 390, I believe. more perfect now from here it's just pressure fitted on because of the pistons just like that and I will take a look at the piston area normally you could push in and out these pistons here but they're not moving oh well, there goes one it looks like this gas gets a little ruined, a little warped. Yeah, something in there is busted. Okay, let's take off the back side. We got this part removed. Everything looks like it's on the up and up on the water distributor part, pump part itself. See if we can just do this with just the impact. I'm going to end up stripping it. That's fine. You don't always have to use the impact. Sometimes hand is better to go to break it loose. But once they're broke loose, feel free to use something with power, time and money. Gotta save on both. This has four little bolts. Don't worry, you're not gonna mix them up at all because they're 100% different. Once this little door is open, this should give us access to what is busted. Oh boy, it's fucking destroyed. <sighs> Yeah. 
What a waste of time. Well, that explains why what's not moving, fellas. You know what? It's not savable. I know people could say you could order a new pump piston, but for the price I could do to... I could just buy a new pump or salvage one. Oh my God, it is something. No oil. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think happened to this bad boy. Ugh, can I take it the rest of the way apart? Yes, I believe I can. There's four bolts in here. They don't look like they're the 13 sixteenths or the 3 sixteenths. They're a little bigger. So let me get that and let's finish taking this thing apart and see what all is destroyed with it. Oh, look at that. Oh, buddy. Yeah. There ain't no coming back from that. Nothing at all. Okay, we're going to take off this little screen here. And if anyone's wondering, I will be saving this piece because I can use this piece if it breaks on a different machine or any of the attachments. So I can keep that. I can keep all these bolts too. I can use them for something. Other than that, Maybe the pistons, but I doubt it. I really don't think there's a whole lot to these to recycle and keep. But yeah, that happens sometimes. Good thing it's not a customer's, it's mine, so I'm not really worried about, you know, explaining to someone that the patient has passed because there is no saving this thing. No saving this thing at all. Come on, baby. There's a little C clamp here on um, the shaft there. I don't know, I haven't really broken down into one of these as much. I'd still have to take off the top part. I think we're going to call it good there. So, yeah. In the end, not worth saving. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to go in the trash. And I hope I'll see you on the next one. I do want to say one thing. Big shout out to Rich. Rich's Mowers and Blowers.